the white fibrous connective tissue. It is a characteristic diagram which will help you understand the concepts better. The white fibrous connective tissue consists of mainly white fibers which are arranged in bundles. The fibroblasts are present in rows between the bundles. So fibroblast is going to be observed in rows between the bundle like structures of white fibrous connective tissue. The white fibrous connective tissue has great strength, however its flexibility is limited. So this type of connective tissue is providing limited flexibility though its strength is immense. It is present in certain areas of the body where strength of the tissue system is highly required. The presence of white fibrous tissue at the joint between skull bones make them immovable. So yes, we are having the skull bones which are joined by help of suture and at that particular area we have white fibrous connective tissue. It provides very limited flexibility. So the skull bones are immovable including the eight bones which make up the brain box. Due to the presence of abundant white fiber, the skin dermis of large mammal yields leather after chemical treatment called tanning. So white fibers are abundant into the large mammals. So after treating the skin with chemicals called the process tanning, we will observe leather from the skin. This is possible by help of the abundant white fibers. The white fibrous connective tissue forms cords called tendons which connect the skeletal muscle with the bones. So skeletal muscles are connected with the bones by help of a intermediate structure known as tendon. Now this tendon is nothing but made up of the white fibrous connective tissue. So the white fibrous connective tissue which is going to form tendons here you can see clearly is important for joining of the muscle here with the bone and this is going to be enhancing the joining in such a way that they do not get easily separated because in case there is a tearing in this particular area it is going to be highly sensitive and this can cause serious trouble for the movement of that particular bone joint. White fibrous sheets. The white fibrous connective tissue also forms flat plate or sheet like structure. So here you can have an overview of the sheet like structure. It occurs in the dermis of skin. We know that the outermost layer of skin is epidermis and below the epidermis we have dermis. So below dermis we are going to find white fibrous connective tissue which is formed and arranged like a sheet. It is going to be seen in the connective tissue sheath of muscle and nerves at the pericardium of heart, at the renal capsule of the kidney, at the sclera and cornea of eyeball, fibrous capsules of penis and testis, between the skull bones and in the adjacent areas. So the white fibrous sheets as we have already seen are present in a sheet like structure. It's a form of connective tissue for sure and its most important function is providing protection and support to the organs which are prone to damages.